the death of Airbnbs. Hi, I'm Terry Bailey with Selling Utah Real Estate. Now, obviously, we're not going to see the death of Airbnbs, but we are going to see a lot of operators get punched in the face and be out of the business over the next couple of years. Let's take a minute and talk about why that is. The story really starts a little bit before COVID. Airbnbs were a new asset class, and they continue to do really well. In a lot of cases, you could gross double the amount on Airbnb that you could with long-term rental. And then they continue to increase in popularity. And once we saw COVID kick in, something changed, right? During COVID, Airbnbs had a hard time and a lot of these operators left the market. And so the supply was a lot lower once we started to step out of the pandemic. And that's when things got absolutely crazy. Because people had been cooped up in their houses for so long, they were anxious and eager to get out of their houses, to go and do day trips, to go and visit other places. And we just had tons of people leaving their houses and ready to explore. Add to that, the money was fluid and abundant. We had started to see increases in wages. We had had stimulus checks that had stimulated the whole economy and interest rates were at historic lows. So money was plentiful. And then these Airbnb hosts were able to continue to raise their prices and people saw these massive increases in prices. And this was the gold rush into Airbnbs. And consumers started to say, oh, I want an Airbnb. I want to buy one of these. I want to buy two of these. I want to buy five. And they would talk to managers in the area and say, hey, show me your last 12 months. And any decent operator had an awesome last 12 months. The mistake was believing that the last 12 months would continue to be the same year over year because they just looked at the micro numbers instead of looking at the macro economy that led to that micro number. And now I've started to see an insane amount of Airbnb properties hit the market. The reason is, one is we had an insane amount of new supply. There's now a lot more options for you to pick from. And the demand is lower. Post COVID, people weren't really traveling internationally. So it stimulated a lot more of the travel nationally. And now, especially as the market's tightening up, people have less discretionary income to go out and play with. So between an increase in supply and a decrease in demand, a lot of these Airbnbs are no longer having the income that they had projected. My prediction is we are gonna see some of these Airbnbs get sold, but an even larger portion will convert into midterm rentals or long-term rentals. The reason for that is because a lot of this new product is still sub four interest rate, which means it's a great asset. So I think we'll see a lot more of these turned into long-term and medium-term assets. And the great operators who really know how to run an awesome Airbnb, they'll continue to stay in business. And as your competition dies out, their margins will continue to increase a little bit more. So no, it's not the death of the Airbnb, but yes, it is the death for bad operators and people who really don't know how to manage a good Airbnb company. Those are my thoughts on the short-term rental world. I'm curious to hear what yours are.